Um, well, I'm Jane. Mm -hmm. um, I work part time in a school, so that leaves me in the mornings, so I can take my son to school and um, do things like this. And I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but I've really enjoyed it, and I've enjoyed the different activities. Every, I've got. I, I love the ability to work with some clay because yeah. that that was <laughs> love that. And I loved each of the 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 um the craft exercises like but I, I understand the meaning behind it which I think is extremely useful. I think it's very important that free things are offered in the community mm. um because obviously having to pay for such things can be a barrier to a lot of people. I liked how it was split into different components, for example, um, the first exercise with the collage um, was to kind of interpret the lockdown for each individual, so to, to put how you felt. Um, <laughs> I, I, I amused myself because I, I was, the, I, I think I, um, there wasn't a white piece of paper showing by the time I'd finished. I'd kind of used pens and um, images and all sorts of things to kind of describe the... Um, in a lot of the lockdown, very difficult situation. and But with chinks here and there of, of fam family time, which was important. Obviously, my husband was working from home. I was um, at home because the school that I work in was shut for key workers. I wasn't needed, so in effect, I got a, a you know a long time off. But not being able to go anywhere, I'm a very sociable person. I have my routine. I volunteer at my local library on a Tuesday and Friday. I meet friends for coffee. I do courses like this when they pop up, which is excellent, which is a rarity because nothing like this has ever popped up before. Um, and of course that was all taken away. Um, so that, that affected me mentally. And also there was a lot going on in family life as well. Um, which impacted as well just before the lockdown um, started um, my mother ha had to go into a care home because she, it, she she suffered with Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia which was obviously it got to the point where my poor 74 year old father could not cope I helped as much as I could 24 7 basically he couldn't wash, he couldn't eat, he couldn't sleep because he couldn't leave her alone for one second. Um, so it got to the point where I had to fight to get her into a care home, not knowing that the lockdown would happen and I wouldn't be able to visit my mother. So that was extremely hard. So I didn't see my mother for until they decided that I could start to have whatsapp video calls with her um it very difficult because mom was in there from um the the march to um earlier this year and you know the lockdown was hard for, for a lot of people but also um, my husband as well, because his parents have now gone into care, and then the the, the guilt and the and the not being able to visit, not even my husband having the ability to see them on a video, um, until told that perhaps one person. How do you decide out of the family which person gets the you know to see what could be the last weeks and months of your parents' life. So extremely difficult. Um, 
so of course I I did a lot of crafts because I'm a crafter so I've got crafts coming out of the <laughs> taking mm -hmm. so that was my focus and my therapy I think um, any sort of arts and crafts um, is extremely popular with people um, because it kind of is, is distracting and it, it can take away from your, your issues and problems that you may have and just concentrate and focus on making something and then having that satisfaction that you've created something. I think it's a very valuable thing to have and, and an opportunity to have in the community. They, they've given me two hours for me, hmm. okay? I'm not the teacher in the educational capacity. I'm not a mummy. I'm not a wife. I'm me. Not that the others aren't extremely important, but it gives me two hours, or it has given me two hours for the last four weeks to say, yep, yeah, you know, I can go somewhere for a couple of hours, pick up a takeaway coffee, sit there and create. Mm. And it's just for me and perhaps have a tootle around the shops as well <laughs> before I have to go into miss mode mm. for work later in the afternoon. You know that I've kind of kept quiet mm. because I think at times the subject areas are quite emotive mm -hmm. um, based on other people's experiences or viewpoints. So, you know, in, the, in this forum, I was happy to hear other people talk. Mm and um, perhaps occasionally interject but not feed sometimes a potential um, emotional crescendo if you mm -hmm. like over such subjects so um, you know and I'll happily share things as well to um, because I I never heard of BCAP before prior mm -hmm. to the four weeks so it it was lovely exciting and refreshing to know that they exist mm. okay. and that courses like this do exist and can exist um, given the need and the want and obviously if that can be um, if the need is identified and um, the out the good outcome that can be identified then obviously funding can be access to, to do these courses, which I think are really good.